Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity Open P1AM Industrial Arduino P1000 Expansion Digital Inputs and Outputs Part 1. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So. One of the main features of our industrial Arduino is to add uh, digital I.O. that are industrial proven and hardened uh, for your application. And today what we're going to do is add these discrete I.O. modules, the input and output uh, modules, to the actual unit. And you see that they are UL and CE approved. Um, so the modules that we're going to add are, is going to be a P1-16TR, which is the relay output. So we have 16 relay outputs, and you can see here that uh, your rated voltages are 6.25 to 30 volt DC, 6 to uh, 120 volt AC that we can control with these relay outputs. And then we can look at the data sheet for the wiring diagrams, and you can see that we actually have two commons uh, for this uh, unit, and it's a single pull, single throw, each contact of that relay. Then we're going to add a combination card, a DC input and a relay output. So our input channel, we're going to have eight channels. They're syncing or sourcing. Um, and the rated input voltage is 24 volt AC or DC. Um, and then we have uh, eight channels output, which is again a relay. It's a form A, single pull, single throw. And we have 6 to 30 volt DC or 6 to 120 volt AC that we're going to output to that unit. Then also we have additional uh, uh, wiring diagrams you can see in their data sheet or we can go to purchase it at automationdirect.com. Lastly what we'll do is add a simulator input module. So we'll have eight inputs here that will simulate uh, our input toggles. So that's what we're going to add. So let's take a look at the actual hardware now and our hardware um, let's call this up here we go so here's our p1 am-100 controller then we have our analog uh, input and output uh, combination module that comes with our starter kit that we had our ethernet starter kit so we've add here's my relay output Here's my combination and here's my input simulator. And how we actually address this is through the slot or the location to the right hand side of the unit. So this is slot one, two, three, and then four respectively. So when we want to look at our simulator, this is slot four and these are the points within it. We have one to point eight. So that's how we actually uh, simulate or get the actual IO that we want for our controller. So let's take a look at the actual productivity blocks and how we actually program in these discrete I.O. points. So if we go down to P1 I.O. and these are inputs outputs, we can take a look at the blink instruction. And what the blink instruction will do is it will um, blink or turn on for a certain time frame and then off for a certain time frame. And you can see here my addressing is my slot, my point number. So the slot, again, if we want to do our first relay of our 16-point relay output cards, is slot 0, or slot 1, slot 2, and then our first point is point 1. So this would be, um, if we want to change it, this would be slot 2 to represent that, and point 1, all the way up to point 16 of our card, and that's how we control that. So that is our blinking. Now our blinking, we have to be very careful because it actually uses delay. And as we talked about last time, delaying our program is not something we really want to do. So we'll see that later on. Next we have get points. And we also have set points. So what get points will do is get all of the input points digitally from a card. So if we say we want to slot number two, what it will do is it will go to slot number two and 
it will uh, get the points or what's in that slot. So actually, let's look at that. Let's look and change that to four. So we're actually going to be looking at our input. And so our input is going to read all these slots, or all these channels at once and bring that into our program. Then our set points would be slot two. And then we can put a value in there that represents all of the um, outputs that we see on here. And we can set all 16 outputs at one time. So that is the set points. Okay. Next, what we'll do is take a look at the um, get point and the set point. And again, when we're dealing with get point and set point, we're dealing with an analog or sorry, a Boolean type expression. So it has to be on or off, one or zero, high or low, etc. So get point, again, we specify, we'll say slot four, uh, point number eight. And so what we're doing is looking at slot four, one, two, three, four, point number eight, which is the last switch of my card right here. So that's my get point. And again, it will return a true or false high or low. Then our set point, this is controlling one point or one output of our digital output. And if we were to say slot three, point one, and we're going to set the high. So slot three, one, two, three. And then what we're going to do is look at our, because we're setting the points, it's an output. So point number one. So this will be our first output point right here, which is we'll turn on. So that's how we address them. And this is the instructions within productivity blocks that will control these digital IO. And the last instruction we're going to take a look at is under uh, P1 uh, setup. And that is the print modules. And our print modules, what it will do is go and look at the back plane that we have here, determine the modules that we have, and actually bring it back and print it to our serial monitor. So that way we can tell exactly where the cards are and what those cards are. So that's all we have there for the uh, uh, instructions that we're going to be looking at today. And so now let's take a look at a sample program. And here we go here. So the first thing we do is we set our uh, P1 modules to true. So that means we are using the backplane and we are powering up these uh, digital IO cards from the backplane. Now, remember it takes an uh, external source a 24 volt in order to power those up. And we have our base controller here, which is lit. They indicate that we have power going to these outputs here. Then what we're going to do is start and set up our um, monitor. So our serial monitor at 115,200 uh, baud. It's a serial eight none one. And the port is the monitor port. Then we're going to set a Boolean. We're going to say print modules is going to be set to high. Then we're going to start our loop. So we're going to check on our CPU switch. If our CPU switch is high, then we're going to set our Boolean again to high. Then we're going to blink our modules, slot 3.8. So this will be slot 3.8, which is the last output that we have right here. It'll start blinking. Then what we'll do is we will set our integer from slot 4 and we'll get a point. I'll get our points from slot 4. So slot 4 is actually our uh, simulator input. So we're going to get those points. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the points in slot two, which is here. So what we're going to do is copy whatever we see on here into this output channel, just to, for demonstration purposes. Then we're going to set our Boolean. We're going to look at uh, slot 4.1. So slot 4.1, so the first output or first input here. And we will set that slot 4.1 and we'll use the get point from slot 4.1. Then we're going to set point slot 3.1. So 1, 2, 3.1. So which is our first output here. So we'll turn that on. So that is our program when we have our CPU switch on. 
Now, if the CPU switches off, what we do is we'll set points. We'll take uh, uh, slot three, one, two, three. So our output's here and we're gonna change that to zero. So we're gonna uh, reset those outputs. Then we're gonna take slot two and we're gonna reset those outputs to zero. So remember when we're dealing with uh, uh, Arduino programming, we have to set the on condition as well as the off condition. Then if our print modules is high, then what we want to, or, or we, what we want to do is take in our instruction called print modules and print them out onto our um, monitor and just verify that we have the cards in there. Then we'll set our print modules to low. So that means this print instruction will only do it when our switch comes off. Then when it comes back on again, we reset that. So it only toggles once. So what we'll do is we can verify that. And once it's verified, we can then upload to our controller. And when that's finished uploading, what we will do now is call up our serial monitor. Here we go. And let's uh, turn this on. Okay, so when we turn this on, we said that when we turn on the first switch, our, first of all, our blinking is on eight right there. So you see that it's on for, uh, we said on and off for so many seconds. So that's our blinking happening. Then we have input one. We'll turn on this as well as copy it to this input channel here. If I turn input switch one off, it turns off. When I turn it back on, okay, you notice there's a, a delay. That delay is because of our blinking and our ability to blink. So that's what's causing those delays. So let's uh, turn on some more switches here. We'll turn them all on. There we go. And when we do that, you'll see that again, our blinking takes place and we are copying the inputs to here and back again. Now let's turn them all off or turn a few off. And you see the delay it takes in order to actually remove those because again of that delay. So let's just fix that right now. Oh, before we do that, let's turn this off. And when we turn it off, we get that delay again. Once it's delayed, then we do the print module, which prints our modules according to what we have here in our program. So here's my analog in and out. Here's my relay. Here's my combination. And here's my simulator. So let's go back to our productivity blocks here. And what we're going to do is let's just remove um, this blinking. So remember two seconds, three seconds. So that's really causing us delay of five seconds. We'll remove that. We'll stick this back in here. Let's just verify that program. And because we've removed that delay, now we'll upload it. What we should see is that things will happen relatively quickly now. As I turn my input and outputs on and off, they will correspond really quickly. So let's look at our serial monitor. Here we go. And we'll clear that for now. And let's turn this on. We turn this on. As soon as I hit the switch, you can see that it out, the output turns on automatically, really quick. We'll try another one. Turn these all on. So these are happening ins almost instantaneously now. So that's the power. What we have to watch out for is those, those delays. So any delay that will delay our scan of our Arduino program, we have to watch out for that. And as we turn this off now, you can see our outputs automatically turn off really quick and we get the print module right away. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future.
remember to click the, the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.